Welcome back to the Simple Green U.S. Open of Handball with the opening rally right here in the bottom bracket semifinals of the Pro Doubles and a quick side out and point. It's already happened as the referee just calls to play and we're immediately back on the court here as we have to do it over. The referee was unable to actually get that score out before the serve from Edgar Oliver. The two players wearing the white shirts on the left point. is Edgar Oliver, O L. I-V-A-R, Dave, I know you like to write this down in your scorecard. On the right is Ricky Ruiz, or Ricardo Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. And their opponent is zero. Fu Fernandez on the right, who just took that ball, wearing the blue shirt, and his doubles partner, side, side out. Chris Flash to Tojin. Some people call him Tohin. Goes by the name Flash. Zero serves two. And Flash and Fuhi were able to take down G-Man Velasquez and Lobo, who were in the finals of a couple tournaments, actually won the Huntington okay. Beach Pro Ready? Stop when they defeated One Ricky Ruiz two. and Samson Hernandez in the finals with one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. And Dave, I, in between games, I went over to the courts and the crowd is completely infectious right now. The Hold energy it. is great. And, and I know earlier you're, you're talking about Hold taking it. the wireless and going into that crowd. I think you should go down there and actually do some commentary if you have the ability to two. do so. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people here, but there's at least six, seven, or eight rows back from this camera angle. You're not really catching it. Because they're, all, they're all in the shade, but it's, it's really exciting back we'll there. I'll be in the sun. One serving two. Well, if you do put that wireless headset on and go down there courtside, I'd like to see you catch some of the players. Hold it. And some of the fans here while the play is on. Actually talk to them and ask them questions. I thought One Ashley two. Muller was our sideline reporter. You could even step onto the court and hand them the microphone while they're playing. Hmm. These guys are open to the, out. To the press. I don't like to step on other people's toes. Two serving one. She has a job to do, and she does it well. Second map. That radio work. Luis. We cannot hear. Turn the radio off. You hear Mark Zamora taking control down here. Here we go, guys. Two serves one. Score is two to one. Mark Samora telling the crowd that they did not want the radio to be playing during this rally. This took a shot. is a US Open championship, not a club tournament or a park tournament where you can just One, two. play the radio. You have to turn that stuff off. Mm. But this is okay. Second man. As long well, as you have you. 12 before 5 p.m. That's One called mid-breakfast, early lunch mm. in my trailer awesome. park. Side out. You see Ricky Ruiz. Two serves one. He's very vocal with his doubles partner, Edgar Oliver. That's the Oliver corner stiletto kill shot. That's the one that he missed in Vegas that would have given him the finals Three alongside one. Ricky Ruiz when they lost 11 to 10. Dave, I know that you watched that live on the internet. And there's a miss hit from Oink. Flash Tohin, who's one of the most athletic players that you'll see Four in serves one. any form of handball. Touring Europe this year in an under six foot Good professional ball. basketball league. Second man. Four serves one. And that's what he does for a living. He plays professional basketball and professional handball. He's won a lot of money this year. Ranked 11th on the tour at one point. He was sixth. That was a double bounce. Point. Earlier in the season, it was Flash Tohin having a dream tournament in Fullerton one. at Craig Park during one of the Cup Series stops. Right out. When he made the semifinals. That's when we first saw him break onto the, One, five. onto the scene. And the next stop, Armando Ortiz almost took him down in the round of 16, losing 11-10 in the breaker. 
coming out of nowhere. Sorry. That was actually Two, six, at five. Marina Park. Good ball. Second man. Tohin, not a good judge of distance there. He thought that ball would stay in. Two, it went six, deep. Five. We're at two to five. Serving the ball is Fuji Hernandez. Oh. That ball goes out the line. Referee called it good, and that's why you saw the disgust he called it. on the face What'd of you see? Edgar Oliver. Good ball. Here we go. Point. I like how the line judges get involved here. The line judge just calls the play, Dave. Referee doesn't Three, sir, five. interject in. It's the line judges that say whether it's in or out. The referee can overturn the line judges. It's almost opposite of small ball. That's Point. a terrible play, and you watch Ricky Ruiz's body language. You see, he's talking to him. He's talking to Edgar Oliver there, but you can't really see his lips moving because he Side has. Out. He's trying to learn not to look at the guy and, and really berate Five him. Serves four. He's looking away and yelling. Almost like when a guy gets punched out on a called third strike. If you look at the umpire, you're out of the game. Second well, man. I, if you talk to him while looking down at the ground, you've got a chance Five to. Five four. To not be kicked out of the uh, the stadium. Point. Well, lately in baseball, I've noticed there's kind of a Six change on that four. where mm -hmm. they're just throwing players out that are walking away, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. I'm more of the Side out. old school baseball. I'm more of the if there isn't dirt flying in your four shoes, Six. you're staying in the game. Second man. You hear that word bola, bola. That means bola. that he's asking for the ball. Listo. Four serving six. Usually when the player, just to get you kind of up to speed here, Dave, when the player says bola, he's actually just telling the players that they're playing against that I'm serving Point. the ball. So instead of saying serve or whatever the score is, they'll actually five yell six. bola. Even after the referee says five serve six, he'll say bola, meaning I'm throwing it in. It's coming in. Believe it or Side not, out. Dave, I've seen a lot of big ball. I know that your memory is quite short, but been to a number of these Six events. I've five. only missed four out of about the 25 that we've done. Well, Hold I, it. I apologize for Perhaps I should bring you up to speed on four wall small ball doubles Six since you five. missed the match last night. <laughs> I can redefine the rules Hold for it. you. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Six serving five. Edgar Oliver and Ricky Ruiz, one point away from being in the Hold finals that. in Vegas, which was the Players' Championship. And Dave, as you watch Ricky Ruiz here on the left side, watch how he Six serving five. will toggle between hitting a traditional big ball shot and a traditional small ball shot. And he'll do them one after another, which is very difficult to do. Either you play 100% 100% small ball with Second that man. sidearm whip, or you play 100% big five. ball, but you don't see people or these players toggling between the two like Ricky does. Nice dive right there from Ricky. I He's don't know. I did. I again. think nice Juan again. Santos uses a variety of whip and stiff arm shots. Watch this corner here. Ricky missed it. Oh, oh. nice little pepper right there from Edgar Oliver who just pops it with his heel down the line. That's a smart Seven shot. Seven five. Went behind his man there. I like that deep serve. Oh, dive right there from Edgar Oliver. Point. And another good point from Ricky Ruiz, who's went inside out there. Ricky has a lot of confidence here against Chris Tohin, who hey, we five. saw them face each other in Vegas. And Tohin was actually playing really good ball, and Ricky just played with him for a dominant win in the game Hold of singles. That. Ricky tried to get out of the way and actually got into the way. Referees usually don't call an avoidable when a player's trying to, even though technically it probably was. Eight serving five. Oh, look at that coverage right there from Tohin. Good and ball. then a kill shot right there in the corner from Edgar Oliver. And a little handshake from Ricky Ruiz. Well, Ricky Davis is just Nine, as five. enthusiastic when his partners make good shots as he is Point. 
critical when they make bad shots. So you it's roll good, with the good and the bad. It's a, it's a great balance. Edgar Oliver is 40 years 10, old. 75. Dave, on the right side. There's a rumor out there that he's 44. He's not given his real Hold age. Hold it. On tech. Referee saw that contact as Oliver 10, reaches 75. back. Touches Chris Tohin. That's a good shot right there. You see Ricky do a lot of point. You see Ricky do a lot of upper play, which would be more like hitting that ceiling shot we're talking about earlier. Where he'll, five. he'll push the ball back. Players from the OC are are lobbers. Those from LA are the ones that hit the ball down low. Ricky's actually an LA player, but look how he's playing, Dave. He's going to continue to go back and then forward, back and forward. It's a new style that point. he said he's developing that has actually been very effective for him. He's, well, I think, raised his game here in the last First couple tournaments out. because of that. Well, it's a very similar strategy to tennis where you'd play a drop shot lob game, and that's kind of what he's doing here. He's pushing his opponents back and then going low with the next shot and then going up top again with the next shot. Well, it's an interesting style that I actually admire here because you don't see many people doing it, and it seems to be quite effective. Ricky kind of broke that out in Vegas this year and was able to dominate all the way up until the semis of both the singles and the doubles. But unfortunately for him, he did not follow through and get any of those wins. He has never had a big win in singles. He's had some really good ones in doubles. This would actually be considered a good win in doubles if he were to make the finals and actually win it, playing with a partner of uh, Edgar Oliver, who is a former top player. And there he is, the founder of Simple Green, Bruce Fabrizio. There he is. He invented Simple Green back in 1975, wearing his football ring there. That's just the first of many. He was actually a replacement player during a strike in the 1960s for the Chicago Bears. And he replaced Dick Buckus. That's actually not true. Well, that came from his mouth when he told me, so hmm. I'm going to call Four it five. a truth okay. until you can prove otherwise. Challenge let's accepted. Go, okay. Let's go, let's go. We're back in here after a 90-second timeout that was, should have really resulted in 60 Small seconds. Small 35. It's a beautiful show court here. Fountain Valley, California. Dave, this is more excitement here. You can tell already. A Pop lot up. Of a lot of the town folk show up for you see? a Ricky Ruiz match. Not to minimize the play. And Good now ball. we're going to have an argument Second here. man. I thought it was a pop-up, but I'm asking his opinion. Let's take it over. Ricky's right. Ricky knows the rules. Let's go. Take it over. Just like Bo knows baseball. 12-5. Taking it over. Ricky knows this is out, too, by the way. But he also knows how to argue. Hold it. You won't hear many sorry sirs from Ricky Ruiz. He's a very polarizing figure. 12 serving five. Well, I, I think he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. But I don't want to ever meet him on a handball court. He knows that he hasn't 13, had that traditional five. big win in singles. He knows that he's won his doubles matches with Samson Hold Hernandez. Dave. But he said to me, Dave, I need to do this on my own now. It's time for me to break out and make my own name. That's why he's changing partners Good and flash. doing his own Good thing. Editor. I think it would be just a great win for a guy like Ricky Ruiz and Edgar Oliver, this 40 years of age. Watch this contact. Point. Edgar dives in, flips over. Tohin, and you saw five. the look on each other's face, like, what are you doing there, and how come I'm here? Sort of look on the face. I think what's really missing, Dave, is that our broadcast booth is so Help far off. away from the action that we're just watching this on a big screen TV. Side out. Five serves, 14. It's 
much more exciting when you're in person watching this, although this is great film work right here. There's that traditional sidearm, small ball stroke that Ricky Ruiz hits out the door. Put a little bit too much English on that shot, Dave. Six serves 14. Or maybe it's Spanish. Second man. I wonder what Six they, serves 14. I wonder what they call it in Mexico, Dave, if it really is English or Spanish. Hmm. When you spin the ball after you hit it. Point. We'll have to Google Dave Seven Mexican 14. pool. <laughs> Mexican nine ball. Ne Mexican nine ball terminology. Eight serves 14. Side out. And there's a side out being called here. You're watching the men's semifinals. 14 serves eight. Of the pro doubles. We appreciate the fact that you've tuned in to watch this broadcast. Fourteen serves eight. Point. There's another point. Fifteen serves eight. Wow, that ball was smoked by Chris Tohin and dug out by Ricky Ruiz, but two bounces there. Eight serves fifteen. Score now, 8 to 15. You heard the score by the referee. Hold it! And now you're starting to hear some chirping from just the crowd. It, just, just call it, just call it. You all right? 8 serves 15. Point. Right oh, behind you, Flash. 9 serves 15. And you see some chirping from the crowd here. One of the best. Nine serves 15. Big game players is Edgar Oliver. He said 20 years ago, he was either two or three best player in Southern California here. Side at out. At the age of 40, he's trying to remake a name for himself and enjoying it in the 15 process. 15 serves nine. Referee screaming into the microphone there. Point. As a player on this court, you can actually hear the referee when they whisper because it bounces back. 16 serves nine. Of course, I wouldn't know because I would never be on this court because I'm not good enough, but. Point. Talked to some of the players last year and they said that they, it was remarkable how clear you can hear people talking about you in the stands. 17 serves nine. Point. There's another point now for Ruiz and Oliver. 18 serves nine. Point. Another. 19 serves nine. Take it over. Nineteen serves nine. Second man. Nineteen serves nine. Twenty serves nine. Score here is twenty to nine. Game point. Game number one is Ricky Ruiz and Edgar Oliver trying to take down Chris Flash Tohin and 
Fuji Hernandez here in the semifinals of the nice serves 20. men's pro doubles at the Simple Green U.S. Open. It's a side out, though. We're going to have to wait. Second man. Crowd fairly quiet right now. We've seen him much more vocal at this event. Nine serves 20. And there's a timeout. We're also going to take one. We'll be back in just a bit. Stick with us. Racefreight.com. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. You guys ready? Let's go. 20 serves 9. Second man. Twenty serves nine. That's game. There it is, game point. As Ricky Ruiz and Edgar Oliver take down Fuji Hernandez and Chris Tohin will be back for game number two in five minutes. Stick around here at racefor8.com. Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Woo! Don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, oh. oh, oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you can do. Right, let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green. Some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on. Line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. 
It's okay. Okay, all right. They might surprise you. And she took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. At Shelters, you'll discover healthy and loving animals just waiting to become a part of your family. Why wait? You can make a difference in the life of an animal. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person and adopt your new best friend today. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. Rethink what you know about this Vegas icon. your expectations at the Stratosphere Hotel, Casino and Tower. See what's new, up, down, and all around. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> all right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on, watch this guy. Oh, oh like... backwards. Oh, Woo! don't. Oh. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, oh. oh, oh my God. God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Let's go. <laughs> As we step in here for game number two after Ricky Ruiz zero, zero, guys. and Edgar Oliver win game number one. Point. One serves, zero. Serving the Short ball, ball. Is Chris Flash Tohin and his partner Fuji Hernandez. Zero serves, one. Score here is zero to one. Pop up. One serves one. Hold. Great camera angle right there, zoomed in just okay. a little ah. bit. I love this camera angle. High definition, crystal clear screen okay. as we stream live from the bottom bracket semifinals. Okay. One serves one. 40-year-old Edgar Oliver going up against a couple 20-year-olds. Hold it! Alongside his own 20-year-old partner of Ricky Ruiz. One serves one. Good ball. We're all together at one. Eventually, we'll give you some, Two crowd, serving one. some crowd shots so you can see how many people are actually literally here. You can't tell Second from man. this camera angle, but it's kind of lost in transla translation Two from that one. front wall looking back to the left. There's literally 300 people over there. It's just sort of in the shade, and you can't see faces. Nice dig right there from Edgar Oliver, and a skip in from Fuji Hernandez. Three serves one. Hold it. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's 
go, let's go. Three serves one. Point. That ball hit every single wall available to include the front wall camera hole. Four serves one. Now we're at four to one. Ricky Ruiz and his partner Edgar Oliver were one point away from going into the finals in Las Vegas this year, and they teamed up again for a little revenge. Five serves one. And for a short time, Fernandez, excuse me, Hernandez and Tohin were the number one seeds in this tournament, but somebody hit, made a switch hit and pushed those guys around. You see some shadows starting to creep onto the court here. Don't know if that's going to go into Five any type of one. play. What's very difficult is that the player serving the ball looks back at the referee for the call or to see how the lineup is. Point. And they're looking immediately into the sun, and then when you turn back around to look at the ball, you almost kind of lose Six the ball, serving one. even though it's red. It's kind of a strange polarization. Your eyes are really tracking so many different colors. And I guess that's a luxury or Side out. the goods and the bads of outdoor handball in general. But Dave, you've played a lot of outdoor handball. I don't believe your eyesight is the greatest, and I'm not putting you down here. You're but not? But it's, it's very difficult to serve a ball, look back into the sun to see who's returning it or the return, then look, look back man. to the front wall again. You have so many different colors. One star six. The ball's traveling so fast. Well, I'm surprised these guys don't play with sunglasses. Well, they usually Hold do, in. but with these white courts, you'd think they would certainly do it here. Uh -huh. We've seen a lot of sunglass play. Even One star six. In Vegas during some of the darker hours of the day, you'd still see them out. But Side out. These courts are so bright that perhaps that red ball against that front wall is is a, is a great backdrop for Six these players, but when they look back into the crowd, they have to really quickly, as we can see here, it's very hard to track the ball. I like that camera angle, though. Good ball. That ball was good, and now another point for Team Oliver. Edgar Oliver and Ricky Ruiz wearing the white shirts. Seven serving one. Second man. Kind of an uneventful rally there. We thought some magic was going to happen, but Ricky Seven Ruiz hit one. that in the ground, 7-1. to one. Chris Tohin from the Los Angeles area. Ricky's calling off his partner by raising his hand. Point. Some referees would stop play when they see that. That was Ricky saying, this is mine, I'm going to put it down, and he did. His left corner kill is absolutely amazing. It's a toggle half hybrid between a traditional Dave Chapman paddle shot and a Sort of a Paul Brady modified whip. It's pretty amazing to see him go to that left corner kill because it's pretty Nine much automatic. One. Talk about Ricky Ruiz here. Outside. That ball out and now. Toe Hin and Fu well on, starting to unravel as they Good take ball. a timeout, I believe. Nope. They're going to stay in play here. Dave, Ten serving one. I don't know if you've been able to walk over to the courts here. There's so many people off to the left side here in the shade. It's it's pretty infectious. So is the flu. Outside. Well, you don't drink Coronas when you have the flu. You'll get it in a second. Hmm. One serving ten. Look over. at that get right there, and they're calling it over. A little bit of contact there. Edgar Oliver looks like he hurt his back here. These guys, Dave, are on the tennis court, which is asphalt. You would never see a tennis player dive, but yet these guys dive on yeah, I thought. this cement as though it's grass. Now Edgar's clinching his back. There's the contact Time right there. And that, that little shoulder that Tohan gave Edgar Oliver right into the rib there certainly does hurt. But see, since he is a dinosaur, that pain that he's got was when his wife opened up the car door this morning and hit him. It took that long for it to actually affect him. Mm. <laughs> you know, the you missed that contact there, Dave. That was actually pretty obvious. You were in the middle of a 
five minute uninterrupted no breath rant. <laughs> Referee. I, Dave, come from the school of less is more. There's a great camera angle there of those up in the balcony. We see the founder of Simple Green right above the Zions scoreboard off to the top right as we pan over. Look at the players here and the fans sitting courtside. A lot of players here underneath the, the tent as they are watching some of the greatest handball they've ever seen here at the Simple Green U.S. Open of handball. I don't think they've ever seen any of these guys play before. Let's go. One serving ten. I feel like I'm on the verge of getting punched in the mouth sitting here in the booth. And I kind of want it to happen. It's a point. Two serves ten. That was almost one of the great retrieves of all time. An over-the-back lob. Didn't quite make it, though. Three serving ten. Hold it. Come on. You see a lot of the players let's talking go. about avoidable hinders here. These referees let's go. don't even call avoidables. Let's go, let's go. This referee, as you heard in between games, was talking about... Let's go, let's go what is an avoidable let's asking go. players and the fans what an avoidable actually is let's go let's go let's go referee Three serving 10 now sees that tohin and ricky ruiz arguing Almost. referees do not allow for much personality here davis they cut off arguments very very quickly they do actually Three serving 10. Side out. Ten serving three. You heard the score of the ten to three here in game number two Point. after the first one went to Edgar Oliver and Ricky Ruiz defeating Chris Tohin and Fuji Hernandez. You've seen a lot of chirping here from a, a group of players that are actually in, in the lead, Dave. Eleven serves three. But that's sort of a Ricky Ruiz match. He's doing a lot of chirping with the referees. And I think one of the reasons why is Ricky is a traditional the small point. ball, four wall player, and he knows the rules. And he sees that these referees don't really know some of the you basic rules oh, okay. of the game. And you'll see him constantly, constantly talking to the referees to try to get what he believes is fair play. Well, it's frustrating as a player when you know the rules a lot better than the referee and he's telling you that you're not allowed to talk. All you're doing is explaining the situation and the rules to him, which he doesn't necessarily know. I find a day very condescending when the referee cuts off players when they're trying to make their point. Three serves 11. Four serves 11. Discussion here from our referees, Mark Zamora and our referee, and also the line judges all discussing, Dave, oh, yeah. what is going yeah. on. And I'm kind of wondering what you think okay. is going on here. You see that Mark Zamora, Dave, is 
continually talking to the referees, everyone has a different interpretation of what they think is going on, and I know you also have your thoughts about so it's got to bounce it in. whether or not the, the play is constantly getting avoidable hinders, and I know you've played many times before where an avoidable wasn't being called, and these refs are certainly there getting a clinic right now from Mark Zamora. And I'd like to hear your take on what you think is is happening here, Dave Fink. He's cheating. What he's doing, he's cheating. He's you see the out. referee saying that he's cheating. You see when he comes out. Then it's up. Let's go. What makes you think I have a take? Maybe there's some situations well, in which I I'll don't go. have a take. What I, what I find odd here is that we can hear the line judge, yeah. Mark Zamora, say that he's cheating and as he's lobbying to the referee that there's some illegal plays huh? going on by one of the players. Well, which I think I, five. I've never heard a line five. judge do that before, but here in big ball, Let's outdoor go. play, it's a little different. Line judges have a, as much tout as the actual referee does. They can stop play on a out call on the sideline where the referee can't necessarily. I believe referees only escalate the situation by talking down to the players and not giving them an opportunity to explain themselves or maybe express themselves a little bit. Well, the players aren't involved in this discussion. This is all line judge driven, and you see John Bike, who is our lead referee, now just saying, Five serves 11. There's some stuff going on here. I better go and figure it out. But we already have one casualty from the big ball area. As I see some broken glass over here put into the garbage can. Hey, Warner, what about the, the rallies, fool? They're in the rallies. Yeah. Let's go. Six, six serving 11. Starting to get out Referee of control. Here. Really encouraging players to let's go. Trying to minimize the arguing. Well, the problem is you, you can minimize it by the actually ball. addressing. Well, you actually increase the arguments by not allowing the players to express themselves. Six serves 11. Six serving 11. Score is six to 11. You heard that score. Seven serves 11. Look, side out. Yeah. Eleven serves seven. of arguing here, there. Dave. No point. A lot of jarring back and forth between the players and the referee. And you see the let's referee go, just go. saying, let's Ball go, let's play. I, I believe it's nice to hear a referee do that to try to get back on track. But really, instead of saying, let's go. Oh, avoid one, uh, flash. See, this is the problem. Referee doesn't know what an avoidable is. Go, flash. You got to give him a shot. Dave, this, this is where the referee has been now programmed to call an avoidable, and he doesn't know what a proper avoidable is. And that was spawned by Mark Zamora, who stepped in and told him that he can't take away that shot, and now the referee's calling avoidables without the actual clinical definition of an avoidable. And we're going to get out of control here. You see contact over on the right, contact on the left. Hold it. Hold it. Go. Let's go. 14 serve seven. Now they're going to do the handshake that they always do. I don't like that. I love it. 14 oh, I can't seven. stand it. 14 to seven. Ridiculous. I think it's a great form of sportsmanship. I don't. I and think you it's see oh, man. insincere. Now you see that is actually done on purpose right there from Chris Tohin who came in and purposely tried to get that avoidable hinder call. Come on, dude. This might result in a rumble out here, and I'm not joking, Dave. This is escalating well, I here. Hope you, I hope it does. Listen. No, you listen. No, you listen. You do it again. You do it again. Come on. You do it again. Come on. You do it again. That was on purpose from Chris yeah, Flash. Let's take a replay that day because I didn't recognize that being on purpose. It's a good ball, Flash. Come on, man. 
Flash could actually call a timeout here and argue. 15 serve seven. Well, I'd like to, to load that last play 15 up. 15 serve seven. Well, I, I thought he was just going for I the ball. I don't know if we want to load up the last no, play. There's a lot of fireworks right now. I'd rather catch this live, Dave. Well, the fireworks have subsided now. No, they haven't. You don't know that. You see that Flash right there gave an elbow in as he flew past Ricky Ruiz, and he's also playing with a little bit more vigor. Now looking at his doubles partner, you see a lot of frustration here. And here's that It's starting to get play. out of control. Watch what Flash does as he runs in. What? I mean, he's going for the ball. He wrapped his arm around the player. Well, I mean, he doesn't want to barrel into seven. the guy. He's nope. trying to keep himself up. That's the most ridiculous thing you've ever said in your life. Well, I certainly don't think that warrants being thrown out of the tournament. I mean, the no, guy's he going clearly, for the ball. He clearly did that on purpose. He put his arm around the player and tackled him as he went for the ball, Dave. I've never seen that before in handball. Right after he got called for an avoidable himself. That looked like a kick. Well. Player Fuji Hernandez calls a two bounce. Yeah, there might have been contact. Seven. He might have been in the way, but he actually grabbed him and tackled him on his way in and tried to get an avoidable hinder. Seven serve 16. As well, expected, in the professional team. basketball league he plays in, Dave. And Europe, that would only be called a foul and maybe wouldn't even be called. Well, they have new rules on the flopping <laughs> calls here. Might be Seven video replayed and there might be a fine. I'm sure in that league, it's probably a $100 fine. Mm -hmm. trying to keep like how you're trying to keep me on track. Sorry that I know more about it than you do. Actually, you don't because after six violations, you could be suspended, but they don't count as personal fouls. Yeah. All right. I don't see how anybody can make it a subjective call on video 16 and say somebody seven. was flopping. We saw last year where a player got hit in the eye and they called it a flop and they found out that he had to have surgery after getting poked square in the eye. Do you That's mean not when a flop. Tony Parker went to a nightclub and got hit by a flying bottle? No, by a oh, Okay. You're talking about on the court. On the court. Okay. The difference between doubles and small ball and outdoor doubles is that in small ball, that's a nice shot right there from Ricky. But in small ball, Dave, they play more of a, the two right side guys will play up front, the two left side guys will play back. There's a lot more spacing, sort of seven. like this format that you see right now. But in big ball, you're up, everyone's up near the short line at all times. And here you see that formation of everybody in the same spot. That means that that whole court is being covered by a player and you're seeing a lot more hinders, a lot more avoidable calls and screens and and it gets crazy. And we're starting to see some of that craziness. You hear the fans starting to cheer. Seven. But that's a great thing about big ball out there. I like that. Play. I think it's great. I think the sport needs it. A lot of contacts. Oh, nice. I don't know, Dave. I'd Over like ball. to, after this match ends, which will be in two minutes and 30 seconds, if we can load up that play that Tojin was threatened to be removed from the tournament for, for doing. Still not convinced, Dave, that it warranted that kind of threat. Well, I don't think it warranted the threat at all. Okay, but I think so what you we're missed, on the same page there. I think what okay. you missed was that there were some things that happened before that Ready? where it was obvious that seven. players were lobbying for avoidable hinders. And I think that the programmer, the, the referee got programmed wrongly, kind of unbiasedly or maybe even biasedly got programmed. Now you watch Mark Zamora step in here like a bouncer at a nightclub just to make sure as he gives a handshake to the guy that he said, I'm going to I'm gonna bounce you from. Let's take a look at that replay as Ricky Ruiz and Edgar Oliver take down Fuji Hernandez and Chris Tohan. There it is. He grabs his waist going for a ball. I've not ever seen that in handball before. I'd like to see it one more time. Dave, I don't know how many times you need to see it. I need to see it a he few. He did not need to grab him and bring him down. Okay, let's watch You can again. just sweep around the guy and hit the ball. He knows exactly where this ball's being hit. Grabbed the waist and brought him down and threw him to the ground. You can't do that. That okay. was a tackle in football okay. from a guy that is just receiving well, a punch. I, I had to review it a few times. I mean, do you think when they give fines in the NBA that they just watch it once in regular motion? Let's look at it and in slow motion. The fine? Let's watch in slow motion here. As you can see it even better. He's going in for a tackle. The ball is already on its fifth bounce on the ground. Roll out on the ground, and he's going for a tackle, asking for an avoidable hinder. That should have been a technical. <laughs> well, he was a, instead he was warned that if he did it again, he'd be kicked out of the tournament. That's a clear 
violation from Chris Tohan. But at the end, they all shook hands. As Ricky and Edgar take down. I don't think down people should shake hands after matches. Chris Tohan. <laughs> Tom Brady doesn't. And uh, Tohan and his partner, Fuji Hernandez, are now out and they will play for third place. We have another match coming up. Here he is, the champion, Juan Santos, is going to go up against Rudy Cruz in the semifinals of the singles. You have to watch this kid play. He's the current player's champion. We'll have that match coming up in about 10 minutes. You stick around here at racefor8.com. you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green. Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Woo. Don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, oh. oh, oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. <laughs> 